Hi friends, it's Terry Stewart, Independent Stampin' Up! Demonstrator. Welcome to my Stamping is Fun channel. And this is Bundle Bonus, where we're focusing on the heart and home bundle. Well, actually, it's a suite and I'm doing a bundle within that. It's Bundle Bonus Month. So let's get started and I'll tell you more about the Bundle Bonus Program. So this is the Blessings of Home bundle, which is part of the heart and home suite. So my customers, if you order this bundle from me, I am going to provide you with a bonus. You'll get this video plus another video I'm doing and links to videos. Um, some of my demonstrator friends are, who are also using uh, the heart and home suite products. So you'll get lots of inspiration. So this bundle is in the January to June mini catalog and it features the heart and home suite, which comes with all these products. And today I'm going to be using some of the products within the suite. Particularly I'll be using the Blessings of Home bundle, these doilies, the matte dots, and the heart and home DSP. DSP, Designer Series Paper. And on the next page, on page 60, this is where you can see the bundle that I'll be using, the Blessings of Home. It comes with this stamp set and the Flowers of Home dies. The card that I'll be making in this video is a thank you card. It features the thank you image from this set. And then on the inside, I'm also using one of the floral images in the corner, this floral image here. So for this project, I am not using the flowers of home dyes. I'm just using the stamp set. And I really like this stamp set. It's a, a line drawn images, but with shadow shadowing, so they're just really, really beautiful and they coordinate beautifully with the DSP in the suite. So you can see here how the shadows are already into, made into the images. And so there's really no need to uh, do more if you stamp it in black. Uh, of course, you can always color these in. So let's get started. The pieces I'll be using for my project today are a piece of white, cardstock, you can see the size there, a small piece of basic gray cardstock, a piece of basic white cardstock, and then my card base is also from basic gray. As I said earlier, I'll be using some of this Heart and Home DSP, it's beautiful 12 by 12, gorgeous floral images, and these lovely patterns, floral patterns. And on the front there, they have uh, colors. All these pieces have uh, various colors shading. And then when you turn them over, there are gray and white wood grain patterns, a variety of them. So it's very versatile that you can use both colors or not colors. And in my project, I'm using this pattern, which is colorful, and then this uh, wood green pattern. So I'm going to bring in my paper trimmer. I'm going to trim this piece. Now it ha does have this lovely um, pattern on the back. I'm not sure if that's a tile pattern. It's just gorgeous. Reminds me of something that, uh, like a dulceware. China wear. And this is a uh, one and a half inches or 3.8 centimeters. And I'm going to cut it to five and a quarter centimeter uh, inches, which is 14.4 centimeters. And then this lovely um, other pattern paper. You'll see that it has some pale papaya, some garden green, and uh, fresh freesia. 
as well as the gray stems. So it just really coordinates uh, really well with everything in the, in the suite. Now this I'm going to cut at two and a half or 6.4 centimeters by five and a quarter, again, 14.4 centimeters. So that's all the cardstock and DSP we're using in this project. So we're gonna start stamping. I'm gonna use a floral image, as I said earlier, and this thank you image. Now I'm gonna stamp the whole image, but then I'm going to trim off for the, the part at the bottom for inspiring me. I just want this to be a more generic thank you card. I'm bringing in my Memento ink and my piece of basic white. I, I have recently re-inked my ink pad, so I'm finding it's easier or less inky, I guess, to bring the ink pad to the stamped image. And this way the ink will not pool and give darker images in one place rather than the other. And with a piece of scrap paper, I actually am gonna stamp this on the left side. And I just want the floral images that mirror these on the front. So I'm gonna leave off the stems and just stamp off to the right hand side. It's just gorgeous, gorgeous Im imagery. So again, with my Memento ink, Going to bring the ink pad to my stamp. And then I'm going to stamp in the middle of this piece. Beautiful. Now I'm going to bring my paper trimmer back in and I'm going to cut off the bottom portion. So I'm going to put this at half inch, which would be 1.3 centimeters. I'm going to trim this. Perfect. And bring my lovely labeled punch. Picky punch, and I'm going to trim off a punch now using this decorative edge with the curves on the edge. I feel like that kind of mimicked the curves in the doily. Now, this is a half inch now, and that will go directly in the smallest guide on the punch. And you can turn it over to make sure that it is centered. And kind of guide it from the bottom, line it up. And then pull it out and put the other end in. And again, with the same rounded edge. And while I have my punch out, I'm going to also punch this piece of basic black. And I'll be using the same rounded edge, but this time the guide is the middle guide for the three quarter inch or 1.9 centimeter. Punch that, and then turn it around and back in the same. And this becomes the layer for our sentiment. Okay. 
glue that down. Just put a little bit of liquid glue behind this. Now I want to make sure that it has the same amount of distance from the top and the bottom. So it's center top and bottom. And that's the liquid glue gives you a little bit of wiggle room to move your piece around until it's just where you want it. Now this is all off center a little bit, but we'll fix that later. So now we're moving on to our card base and we're going to start assembling. I've scored this. So this is a half sheet of a full half sheet of card uh, stock and it's scored in half. I'm going to burnish my score line and bring in my pieces of DSP. So I'm putting this piece on the bottom. Again, I'm going to use my liquid glue because that gives me a little bit of uh, wiggle room with my DSP to, if it doesn't line up correctly the first time. So my goal is to have a eighth of an inch, 0.3 centimeters on both sides and on the bottom. And now with my lovely DSP. Now this does, doesn't does really go in any direction. You can see there's flowers coming down, flowers going up, side to side. Um, so I'm just, even though it doesn't have a particular direction, I think I'll turn it until I get, uh, so these seem to be upside down. So I think I'm gonna go with this orientation. And then apply my liquid glue. And I'll just butt this right up against that first piece that I layered. I'm gonna bring in my, these doilies, these heart and home doilies. There are 30 in the pack and they're uh, basic gray, cinnamon cider and misty moonlight. We're using the basic gray today. I use the other part of that on my sample. So now bringing in my paper trimmer, I bring my, it's just a little bit less than one and a quarter inches. And I'll bring my cutting blade in. And, and that's just the piece we need. And I can use this piece on another project. Next, we'll use this frayed ribbon. This is three quarter inch frayed ribbon and it's gorgeous. It's so soft, really, really uh, has a nice texture to it. And I'm, lay, I'm going to cut a piece that's five, five and a quarter inches or 14.4 centimeters. I'll bring my paper snips in. I use my grid paper to make that cut. And the next other ribbon that we'll be using, this is open weave pale papaya ribbon. And I will also cut that at 5.5 and a quarter inches or 14.4 centimeters. So for this ribbon, I wanted to lay across the seam here, but more of it on top of the seam than on the bottom. So uh, I have, um, so I'm using my tear and tape and I'm gonna lay that right on, just right below the seam and I'm putting two rows of it. I'll have this one just above that first 
row. And then I can just tear it at the end of the edge of the DSP. And I find if I burnish it with my bone folder, then bring in my pick a tool, pick your tool and lift up the cover and just pull that away. Now lay the ribbon right on top of that tear and tape. To adhere the pale papaya open weave, I'll be using glue dots. So I'll pick up a glue dot and put that right on the edge of my frayed ribbon and I'll do the same on the other end. And I'm just putting this right in the middle of the ribbon. I want to center my pale papaya on the frayed ribbon. Like the, oops. It's a little tacky so if you just uh, touch it a little, you can get the tackiness off of it so it won't stick uh, to anything outside of the ribbon. Now I did forget to put on my doily. We can slide that underneath. I should have put this on first before I attached my ribbon. And I want to give a little um, bit of room here on the right hand side. So I'll be using my liquid glue. That will also help me to position in the right spot. So I'm gonna turn this, slide my dolly underneath my ribbon, and that looks great. That worked out rather nicely. And then I'll center this piece on top of where that doily is. And then I'll be using some glue. And I'm going to put it on rather heavy so it can really adhere through the pale papaya ribbon, open weave ribbon. And just put that down. And maybe hold it for a second or two so that glue can activate and bond with the ribbon underneath. Now, as I said, it was a little bit off center here. So I'm gonna be using my classic matte dots. And these are part of that, um, of the suite. And it has these colors of black and gray, vanilla and white. So it coordinates very nicely. So I'm going to I'm going to try, try to hide my shifting of my sentiment and make it seem like I planned to do that way. Whereas this one, I put uh, the matte dots on either end. I'm going to do two dots on this end. And it will draw the eye away from that mismatched positioning. In, my stamped image. And then maybe just one, hmm, where to put it, where to put it? Here, oh, kind of in the middle. No. Then the last thing is to adhere our inside piece. And some li liquid glue. And then just center that in the space. So this is card number one of the Heart and Home Heart and Home Bonus Bundle Program.
think it's beautiful and anybody would love to receive this thank you note. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you like this project, please subscribe and like my channel so I can bring you even more fun stamping projects. And until next time, remember, stamping is fun. Bye.